G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to post on Google Business Profile. Let's jump straight into it. All right, so I've got my lovely Google Business Profile open here. Uh, there's three ways that you can access uh, your posts or to create a post. You've got post in the left hand, left hand column there, you've got create a post there, and if you scroll down a bit, you've got create post there. So you've got a ton of choices. Let's just start with the left hand column. I'll run through what the posting options are and then we'll jump into a dummy one. So you have offers. So that's basically, let's say you're an electrician, you have ex you've just running a program where you've started to install exterior lighting. You can create a post there. What's new is basically, let's say you hire a new employee for your uh, electrical company or your new business, your retail, put it in there. Really, really powerful stuff. Events. Let's say that you've reviewed an article, you've reviewed a product like we have here, or perhaps you've done a really cool thing, like you've you worked with um, a state school or a university, you've done a major project, or you're actually hosting an event, so you're having individuals come to your business, you're showing them how to, you know, install a ceiling fan. That can all be classified as events. Now, the way you can create posts, and there are a few more options, is you come down to the blue button that is right behind me. So let me just get out of the way. So as you can see, it's right here. Okay, so it's just behind me. You simply click on the button there, and up pops the information. So again, you've got offer, what's new, event, and product. Okay, so product is the one missing from the information we had before. When it comes to products, that's ideal more so for retail businesses compared to services. However, you can still technically put your information there. So again, back to my um, guys in Australia, we call them Sparkies, I'm calling them Sparkies. Uh, back to my Sparky example. That Sparky, if he's offering exterior lighting services, he can literally uh, place his product in there. So he can write exterior lighting services and you can select the category and, and set everything up from there and follow the bouncing ball, okay? It can be done. Uh, it's more beneficial to do this if you are in the retail space though, but there's nothing wrong with, with utilizing that. So let's say you, um, maybe you've got an offer. So it's time, let's say it's it's coming up to Christmas, when whenever you can create an offer in here. So simply upload, you would click this and you would upload an image of what it is you would enter your information here. So the title, like, you know, like it says right here is example 20% off store or online. So you're talking about what it is and you can add a time as well. So you can actually make it specific. If you say, hey, we've got a two hour event, this is very hot and you can set it as a two hour event. You can add a ton of information as well. So you can enter the coupon codes and actually link across to the product on your website. There's a lot of information you can do here. And honestly, this is probably the most preferable one that individuals will use, especially come sales time. It's very, very important. Google rewards activity. So if every time your business has a sale, you should be placing it up on the Google business profile. If you do this, it's quite straightforward. You can get uh, rewarded by Google for that. Okay, so you would just follow the bouncing ball. Once it's all done, you can preview the post and then hit publish. Okay, it's very, very straightforward, guys, very straightforward. So let's say you have a product, exactly the same thing, product name, add the images of the product, product name. You can select the category that it's in. You create a new category if you want. The price, the product description, all of that can be uh, implemented in the information. So basically, everything's very straightforward and you can hit publish from there. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll jump into the insights. So I'll show you about the insights and when they fire and, and that information. But in the meantime, guys, if you're enjoying this video and you think I've given you a bit of value, please do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps me out. All right, so insights. What we do is we can come back over to all. So this is where we can basically see who's seen this video, if it's achieved any clicks, um, that, not necessarily a video, the post, sorry. And basically where this information can come from is if we were to Google Osborne Digital Marketing. Now, as you can see, we've been displayed um, in the map side there. If you scroll down, 
sometimes you'll get the post appear up here, but because I manage the profile, obviously a bit of different information is appearing. Uh, as you can see right here, we have the SERP. So we're dominating more space in the SERP. So right here, you can see my posts. Now, this is where individuals can see it and then click on it. So this is where it becomes quite powerful. So anytime you're dominating more real estate on the SERP, that is, that is very good. It's very good for your business. Because if you imagine, let's just scroll up a little bit, this is where it normally cuts off if I don't have any posts. If I was to put up an offer or anything like that, it's not displayed. But now when someone's Googled your business, they're going to be able to scroll down and see that you've got an offer, you've got a product up, you've got something new going on. That's very, very powerful. And again, it's something that entices an individual to click, okay? Guys, I've, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. You, you come back over from there. That's, that's how it works. You can then click um, on the insights. So that's basically it, guys. Like you can come down and you can, can click on the information here. You should be posting on your Google business profile at least once a week. Even if it is just something like this, you create a video, you have a thought. Your business has just done something cool and you post it. Just post that information. Put a link in there as well back to your website that helps with sort of just the ecosystem of SEO, builds up a bit of trust. Uh, Google likes to see that, that you're sending uh, traffic and direction back towards your website. And honestly, guys, it's a very straightforward way to do it.